Hello YouTube. Well, I'm finally getting a little tillage done today. I've got the 1486 hooked onto the chisel plow. This is a bush hog, eight shank, pull type chisel plow. This thing has been on the farm since the 1980s. I've got plenty of tractor to pull it with. Yeah, back in the 80s, I pulled this with a 706 gas. So I could pull a lot more chisel plow than this, but I don't have all that many acres. So this is big enough to get the job done. Here's a little bit of Farmer Pete trivia for you. For a 10 year period, about a 10 year period, in the late 1980s and early 1990s, we did not have a diesel tractor on the farm, nor a tractor with a three point hitch. And yet somehow we managed to farm. Back in the day, I remember that the rule of thumb for chisel plows was you needed 10 horsepower for shank. So we got that covered. Now these contour strips that I'm chisel plowing today, these are where I planted oats last spring. Then last summer I took the oats off and put manure on them and then threw a cover crop on them. Now this spring they're going to get something else. So yeah, those of you that have been watching my channel for a while know that I was a dairy farmer for 40 years and we grew enough crops on the farm here to feed the cows. That was the purpose of growing everything. I've only been an organic crop farmer for about five years. And as a dairy farmer, I have never planted, grown, or harvested a soybean in my life. But that's changing this year. I'm putting beans in. Uh, it happens to work out well for my crop rotation this year and uh, of course like the corn they'll be certified organic. My understanding is that uh, organic beans can be a bit of a challenge but I've managed to grow reasonably clean organic corn for five years now so I have a pretty good degree of confidence that, that I can get a crop. and. I think I've mentioned before, where I live here in my area, there's a pretty strong organic markets. So if I can pull this off, the payoff ought to be pretty good. I've got bean plates for my 56 planter. So I'm gonna be doing 38 inch rows. Probably not optimal, but that's what all my equipment is. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So this year we're going to give organic soybeans a whirl. And finally this week I'll give a brief update on the carport project from last weekend. We didn't get it finished. Uh, we sort of got a combination of rained out and tired out. You may be surprised to learn that putting this thing together in real life is more difficult than in the instruction video. But we got the hardest part done. There's only eight more pieces of steel to put on there. Uh, not sure if I'll get that finished this week or next week, but I will uh, I will post when I get this finished, but progress but not done. So that's this week's update. I got the chisel plowing done now. I've got probably a couple of days worth of manure to haul, 
before I can do my moldboard plowing. Uh, I'm not going to be putting any beans in the ground until the last part of May. I'm not sure if there will be any oats or grass seed going in the ground next week or not. We'll just have to see how things go. So until then, everyone stay safe. Remember to be kind to each other. And we'll see.